Hello everyone, Ragdoll River Song here with Pico and Amelia. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Family Crossing. Today we have restarted Golden Girls Island. And we're starting a new island. Yay! Here come the raccoons. <laughs> Our deserted island getaway. Woo! So much work to look forward to. There certainly is, fellas. <laughs> this is going to be our tutorial island where Pico, Amelia, and I will try to educate you on the things that we know about Animal Crossing. And we're going to try to learn new things about Animal Crossing ourselves. Sound fun? Oh. Woo! <laughs> Pico is great. She's always teaching me things for Animal Crossing. River song. Capital. Oh, you want to capitalize? Please. Okay. <laughs> She's typing in things for me because she's a little better at it than I am. A little quicker. Birthday. Should I put it in? Yeah, you can put it okay. in. Okay. Mm -hmm. My pen is not great. like my controller. Alright. Thank you, Piku. I'll let you have it back in a second, though. Because I'll be stuck looking at her that way for a while. Plus, I like to kind of be accurate. I'm a bit pale. <laughs> Let's be real. I wish they gave us better hair and things to start with. Should I go with pigtails this time? I don't like the shorter hairstyles for me. It's either that, this, or this. I think maybe that's the best. Oh my. Yeah. Also, the ones at the bottom are actually the boy hairstyles. There we go. Let's go gray, y'all. Why? Alright. How about burgundy, since I have a purplish hair color right now? <laughs> That's the closest they have to purple. It is. That it's one looks sad. like your eyes. Aw, that's sweet. That one or this one? The first one. I kind of like these. <laughs> what do you think? The yeah. ones Rosie said are these, right? Mm -hmm. Amelia, really... Pico. I don't know. <laughs> we'll go with this one since that's what she said. And Whichever one you like the best. Nose. Let's go with round. A little button nose. Really wide smile. Put some blush on the cheeks. What's the difference? This will work, I guess. I need some purple and pink hair, y'all. They give you purple, but it's really light. Lavender, And yeah. they give you pink, and it looks like pink. <laughs> I 
I really like the whole setup of Animal Crossing and I wish that there were little things like that in the game that stay in the game. Like how you have uh, things that you have to do, have to do. Like to get their houses ready, you know? I like those kind of things. The tasks that they assign. Like the villagers sending you on hunts and things. I kind of like that, but not really. If they sent me to craft on some things, I think I could do that. They're always so needy. That's terrible. <laughs> it's part of the game. They're like, give me this, give me this, and give me this, and I'll be your friend. That's so terrible. I'm sure that they don't mean to be so needy. Let me see this, because I would like to choose my map layout, too. Uh, what do y'all think, ladies? Mm -hmm. This one looks kind of different. I really kind of like that one. It sort of looks like it's forming one of my characters' head and body. It's weird. Or a Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin Island. It's different than any other setup I've had before. This will be the second island that I've restarted, and Pico is not fond of me doing this. Amelia, how do you feel about it? Because you don't normally voice an opinion. Does it upset you when I restart? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it really does. Doesn't really affect her. <laughs> it just seems like a lot of work. Flush down the toilet. Not really, because for me, I really enjoy decorating, and for me, it's like drawing in a way, so we're clearing away the canvas. And we're starting anew. <laughs> You know? Well, if I had to erase a drawing I was very proud of, I'd be pretty upset about that. What if it was your only piece of paper for many years? Then yeah. it's gonna be covered in eraser marks and... Yeah, exactly. So, we're starting anew. It's exciting. I enjoy it. It's how I beat Burnout for the game. Plus, I have another island that will not be restarted. It just won't. Resplendent stays, because it's very spooky and Halloween-y, and I like it a lot. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of our Nook, Inc. deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about Desert Island Life. Because this will be the last time you relax, you will be doing all of the work. We can keep yours on the table. <laughs> they make it seem like it's going to be a snazzy vacation. They make it look like it's all going to be set up already. <laughs> all peaceful and whatnot. Now the reason why I'm going to be starting to collect bugs at Animal Crossing is so then I can look at the bugs and try to draw them. I like the bugs. But They're one of my favorite things. Especially the butterflies. The butterflies are so beautiful. The moths and the uh, cicadas and just, there are so many wonderful things. <laughs> I like bugs when they're digital. Not in real life so much. Not I like really. bugs whenever they don't land on me and they're huge and terrifying. That happened to me once whenever I was like third grade. A giant bug randomly landed on me. 
bugs land on me all the time. It looked like a beetle. My mom used to tell me that it was because I smelled sweet. My grandpa used to tell me the same thing. I think he might have told her that once upon a time. <laughs> because they do it quite frequently and it's like they harass me. Once Maybe you, uh, you get it you know, that way. Because ants it crawl into your sock. It's Yeah, it's awful. Not pleasant. No, not at all. Just sort of ruins bugs for you. If you're wearing flip flops and they crawl across your toes. Oh, terrible. Especially red ants. Yes, absolutely. Who do we have? Oh no. no. Who is that? Aww. Who is that, Amelia? I'm pretty sure her name is Plucky. She's Hawaii. Aw. And that's an adorable bear. We got a bear, though. How can you tell? He isn't turned around, so you can't see him. I remember he was adorable to me. Is it Nate? I can't remember, but he Walk was Walk forward. We'll Maybe go see who it is. Oh, it's Teddy. I like Teddy. Teddy looks like Grumpy Bear, but sweet mm. and not blue. Just orange. Aw, I like Teddy. I'm not a huge fan of the chickens, but I do Hi. like Teddy. Yes, I remembered her name. Good job! <laughs> I think you showed me her house for Golden Girls Island and I've I decided did. against it. <laughs> They're asking if these people are here when they're only three people well, and they're right in front of them. Well, we gotta do roll call just to make sure. I don't think there's identity theft in Animal Crossing. <laughs> of course. Welcome, everyone, to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I will be delegating all the orders. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. Covered in weeds and junk like that. And this package deal. Hmm. You get a tent, a radio, and a lamp. And a mailbox. And a mailbox, so we can put your bill in it. <laughs> so. So. so magical. You do the residents, do the other ones have to pay? Does Teddy and Plucky here have a bill? Probably. Does he swindle them as well? Probably swindles. Hopefully. <laughs> then it would be fair. Exactly. <laughs> a simple tent, shall we? Yes, we shall. We're going to place our tents on the beach. Okay. Do you know you helped them set up a tent? Really? I didn't think she did. Oh. Yeah, get your tent from... Oh, excuse me. I kick our table. You'll go place yours down on the beach, and we're going to try to place it as tightly as possible so we can get theirs down there too. Because I want to do some paths and things before we permanently place them. Oh, you also get a map. Yes, you need a map. <laughs> I think Pico has seen the setup done before, but neither of my girls have ever done the setup before, so I'm letting her use the controllers to help out here. Latent. Over just a little. Oh, no, 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 honey. Look. Because we're trying to place it close. Look, it said a it said you were too close to the water, but just like slightly over. Should get it. Up and back. There we go. See? A lot of the times it's just moving back a step. Amelia used to place her house on the sandy beaches a lot. Now you go find your uh, other villagers and talk to them real fast. Okay. And they'll give you their tent. <laughs> to Even at up. the beginning, 
You have to do their work for them. All the work. <laughs> for everybody. Now where are the villagers? There she is. Since she's over on this side, you could place hers on this beach area since... Oh, so then you'll be far away from the chicken. Aw, that's not nice. She's kind of cute. Look at her pretty lashes. Aw, oh, she's blushing. <laughs> okay, but Plucky, seriously, we have to do some terraforming and things, so you're going to have to come on over this way. Yeah, we're going to help you. And later, I probably will move your house right here where you want it. But for right now. <laughs> she won't be staying long, though, everyone. Spoilers. <laughs> I think that'll be a great spot. Looks like it will hold a house. Yes. And their houses will probably stay on the beach for quite a while because... They get different colored tints. Yes. Lucky. Yes, and they're so pretty. I enjoy this part a lot. Look how lovely it looks on the beach. Sort of unfair how they get different colors. Isn't that pretty, though? Well, let us you know. can't go in right now. No. I think you can later, though. Yay. I like the uh, islands that have like the tents and you can do glamping where you decorate the inside of the tent to look like the inside of a house, you know? Give it windows and stuff like that. Make it look nice. At first, the first time I saw Teddy, I didn't know if his eyebrows were his eyes and these were like bags or if those were his eyes and those were his eyebrows. Oh no, those are his eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Oh, hello, Mr. Teddy Bear. Opens those eyes. You opened your bags and took. You have four eyes. Oh, no. Go ahead and bring him up towards the front of the island, Pico. That way we know how much room we have to put new residents when we go to try to find some. Yeah, if it'll fit just as close as you can to my tent, is fine. No, what? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Not in my tent, mind you. I think we're going to have to go a little, like, that far over and see what happens. Like, right there, where it's flat. Oh, well, that'll work. <laughs> oh, and he gets a glue tent. Fancy. You have to give them a little bit of space because it's technically their yard and their house will grow so it will get bigger and if you put them too close together your house can't grow. <laughs> Yay, yeah, we're going to have an island warming party. We'll need a few supplies, and this is where he starts giving us tasks. Things to do. <laughs> At the party, I do believe we name our island, don't we? Yeah. Mother. Yes. So, you see the raccoon's faces? What did we need? Did he tell us? Firewood. Oh. He says that... Do we see his face? I'm sorry, uh, what were you saying, Amelia? So, their little places where their eyes are? Uh -huh. That should be a face mask. I think there is one, actually. <gasps> I think there is, like, one that looks like Tom Nook's face. And their little faces. So cute. <laughs> Is it just the little twigs, or is it hitting the trees? Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. You could just pick up some from, you it's know. It's just fun to shake trees. Yeah, but you might get stung right now. Our native fruit is cherries, apparently. 
And also, we will not be staying in fall because I do love Halloween and I do love fall. But I'm not fond of all of the brown and things so much in the trees <laughs> at this point in the game. Because it just looks so bland to me. I don't know. This island I think we're going to set to winter. Just to have something different, you know? So, he says that he, he and you are supposed to collect firewood, but in reality, you're, you're just doing all the collecting. running around getting tree branches, and he just stands there waiting for you. Now you gotta go get some fruit for him. What next? He's always so bossy. Do it yourself, old man. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this is to progress in the game. Do you know what my native fruit of my last island was? No. What was it? I don't either. Was it cherries as well? Might have been. Thank you, madam. Let's get started with the festivities. Woo! <laughs> so you start a fire during an island warming party. Makes mm. sense. Warms up your island. Oh my. Aw. We will have to rise to this challenge. But mainly us, because you're not going to help. I have a feeling that Pico and Amelia will be more help. I looked up and saw his face like, oh man. I was like, woo. He expected to have more people move here, but it's only us. Yeah. Everyone was too scared because they knew you were going to make them do lots of work. That's true. It's they knew. Their job. Your job, Raccoon. Want to do the big revealing of what our name is? <laughs> you just go ahead and type it on in there. All right, guys. Let's <laughs> reveal. I think she might be being sarcastic. <gasps> About what? Is it all one word, or is it supposed to be separated? I think it's all one word. Pretty I'm sure. Honest, yeah. Yay! Care a lot. Care. We're gonna vote. Lot. Bellevue. What were the others? Awesome Beach. <laughs> awesome Beach Woos. Pluckies. She didn't read out the other ones. That's terrible, Tom Nook. <laughs> I thought he said we were going to put this to a vote. Can we vote him off the island? Well, <laughs> I don't think they will let us do that. He isn't much help. All he does is take our money and... Sit there. Counting all his cash. Yeah, basically. Well, who would we replace him with as mayor? Or president, or whatever he is. What does he do? 
he just sits in his chair. Counting all of his... All our money. <laughs> that he has took a... Money that he swindled us out of. All our bells. Oh, look at their pretty little cherry juice. Little cherry smoothies. They're adorable. And they just stand there holding it, and all they really do out. is lift it into the air. They don't actually drink it. They never drink any. They still look adorable doing it. <laughs> I think he's, he's supposed to be in it. Oh, they're drinking it, but... We're Lucky's not allowed. having a hard time. Aww. Little Teddy's playing the tambourine. Oh. So what are you up to now? I honestly don't know. Am I supposed to talk to the raccoons? Couldn't hurt. Should I go do that? Uh-huh. she was going to charge you for all this, would you take it? Or would you sleep under the stars? I would sleep under the stars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There used to be a Sims game on this uh, DS that Pico and I were very fond of. <laughs> Which one? Castaways. Oh yeah. Where you're on a desert island and you have to craft everything. I don't think I've ever gotten a black lamp and a black radio before. The time that you finally do is when everything's supposed to be colorful. how it goes sometimes. And then for some reason, KK comes to us in our dreams. <laughs> Must have been all that cherry juice. But we didn't even drink any. It's supposed to make you sleep well, so maybe it makes you have really vivid dreams. There's a fuzzy detail to KK. I have. I just noticed that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's really awesome. We have a list of villagers that I'm gonna be willing to accept for Carolot. 
If you haven't guessed already, they're all going to be bears or cubs. <laughs> Yay! When Mom first told us that the island name was going to be Gear a lot, Amelia said, it's going to be a lot of horses, isn't it? <laughs> it was very sweet. It really was. Excuse me. <laughs> she got them confused. That happens to the best of us. They're pretty much the same except they really are. bears. And one's ponies. Ah! Stalker! <laughs> He's at our house. What if they let you move? Just come out, you see him there. Ah! You have like a little frying pan, box him. Here's your bill. <laughs> That's what he tells you. Here's your bill. <laughs> Thought that was a bill. It's your phone. No, give me the money. Mm hmm Gonna put it in our care plan package. Don't worry. <laughs> he makes sure that we pay for it. New message from Nook. Give me money. I like to have two different islands with completely opposite themes so that I don't get bored with my island, though. That's why we're doing, like, a bright and colorful theme like uh, Pico suggested, because... Right now on Resplendent, we have a very dark and kind of, it's still got color to it, but it's still very, very dark and, you know, something lighter is nice to go to occasionally. That's why I did the tropical for What's this last What's a labor one. bill? <laughs> what labor have you done, Tom? What labor? Bossing us around? Indeed. <laughs> Charging us for him bossing us. Yeah, newsflash, buddy. We're broke. That seems a bit crazy. We don't know why you didn't think of this before, too. Heavens. <laughs> what should I say about it? Go ahead and get the explanation. It's going to give it to you either way. It's all got a question mark next to it, you know? <laughs> I've had this island in mind for quite a while now. And it was one that Dad and I discussed. But... It takes quite a while to put together an island. So, I think I worked on that one for how long? Three months? Four months? Which one? The Tropical Golden Girls. All through the Six summer. Months? Somewhere between three and six months is what I want to say. It had a lot, of, a lot of time put into it. But it was time for a new change because, I don't know, after a while you just get tired of looking at the same thing over and over. Teddy comes. Teddy looks awesome. We're enrolled in the Nook Mile program. So do I get to be on your island? Are you going to be a Care Bear? How come I have to be a Care Bear? Because we're all going to be Care Bears. It's the Care Bear Monster. But Care Bears are always Just Nook. So what are you doing in here? What's Care Bears purple. on? What's the ribbon on Care Bears? Do you want to be the villain? No. Are you going to be wearing all black? I think that that's just... Very bad judgment on everyone's part to think that the person wearing black is always the bad guy. <laughs> Are you going to be wearing all black? I don't usually wear all black. Are you going to decorate the outside of your house with black? 
Am I'm I going to be able decorate to decorate the outside of my house? We're going to be learning new things and teaching new things. So yes. Um, I guess I could decorate my house. I think you'll do well with it. I'm going to show you girls how to lay down some pathways and things when we get the ability to. And that way y'all can practice on Lucky Land on laying down pathways and things. Because it was one of the questions y'all had. So I thought other people might have problems with it too. It's one of the reasons we're laying out everybody on the beach. <clears throat> and also, I like to go villager hunting for people before we get them assigned to us. You cannot do that with your, what is it? You can do it with the three we're going to go hunt for. And then we have two on the island right now, so that's five. You're going to get someone at your campsite, and you unfortunately have to take said person at your campsite. No. Yeah. <laughs> no matter who it is. Just like these first two. But when it's time, we can go hunt for three. And since I have an extra island, I did go store away some bells for myself. And also, I stored away a few items like wood and iron and stone before doing a large giveaway where we helped, I want to say probably about 26 or 27 people. Quite a few. <laughs> We tried to make sure everybody got what they needed, and I tried to put a little bit away for crafting on this island. And we do time travel here because, you know, Doctor Who fan and all, River Song. Hello. <laughs> did you just use LOL? Yep, I did. <laughs> I just heard LOL. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mom's really tired. She gets up super early to go to work. But I was really excited to start this island, so that's why I was like, all right, you can do all the buttons, and I can do some of the talking. Buttons. But yes, I am tired. <laughs> Are you having fun with this, though? Because if not, I can take it from you. I am having fun. It's really interesting to see how their little tent is set up and how the little nooks have a shop that is set up kind of like a little hut, you know, at first. I like seeing the different styles and things that they use. Like he has a little crate back there and a piece of wood as a table. That's cute. <laughs> What did he tell you to do? Get five tree branches so I can build a fishing rod. She reads rather quickly. <laughs> you can keep the weeds in your pocket. We're eventually going to need them, I'm sure. didn't even try to memorize it. Memorize what? The DIY. Oh, because she can't right now. You have to do the workshop. Thank you, Flay. She's like, what's that? Mm -mm. I'm sure if she would have read it for a second, she could have figured it out. Mother? Yes. I need to make that little mini comic now. I've been making little Animal Crossing mini comics. And so, butterfly. I thought of stitches and how he likes bugs and food. Him? Oh, look, a butterfly. Just him. A butterfly catches one. Now give me butter for my toast. Oh. The butterfly. He was having a hard time trying to figure out what went on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich the other day with Judy and Barbara. Barbara was getting upset. I told him a wrong answer, then she was upset with me as well. <laughs> 
She said not to encourage him. <laughs> I think that they make some of the characters not smart on purpose because some people like dumb characters. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I love Stitches, though. He's sweet. That's why Gur is so popular. He's True. dumb, and that's what makes him cute. That's why I like Stitches. Reminds me of Gur. Adorable. Sister, he finds a butterfly. Give me butter for my toast. Me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Butterfly just explodes into butter. <laughs> it's magical. And mm -hmm. we definitely need a vaulting pole like ASAP. I need to explore. Another butterfly. <laughs> We don't have a way over there, huh? We don't have the butterfly, and we don't have the toast. Another butterfly. <sighs> that one would have made white toast, and that one would have made yellow toast. Do you want to make a person for our island, Amelia? You don't have to if you don't want to. What do you mean? A person she wants to live to here. Possibly turn you into a Care Bear. And if you choose to wear something not colorful, you have to be a villain. Well. Can I be a pony? No, you can't be a pony. She can be a Care Bear cousin. <laughs> We're not having Care Bear cousins right now. That's later. <laughs> gonna have a penguin. Gonna have like a next nine. Halloween, maybe. Care Bear cousins. Right now, we're doing the Care Bear lineup Mom has envisioned in her head. Because Mom's, you know. Do you have ten bears in your head? I own eight bears. <laughs> Amiibos. But we need to villager hunt for a few bears that I really, really want. One in particular is Pudge. Who's Pudge? Pudge is adorable. Pudge is Pudgy problem. Yeah. Pudge's name. No, he's not Pudgy. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> Let me go. He get wouldn't be called Pudge, Pudge if he weren't. <laughs> and all Animal Crossing characters are a little bit Pudgy. Let me get my phone. Yeah, everybody's just <laughs> super Pudgy. Except for the mice. They just have big heads. <laughs> I have to say that most likely the owls are the pudgiest. Or the hamsters. Okay. Don't judge him too harshly. Okay. <laughs> he... Isn't he the panda? No. He is so cute. Oh. I really like him. It looks like he and Stitches could possibly be brothers. He's he really sad. awesome. He, he looks, looks nervous. Sleepy. He looks sleepy or nervous. He looks anxious. He looks like he's either sad or about to sneeze. Or he's shy. That's true too. Whoa. <laughs> I like him. He's one of my favorites. He's Surprisingly, Pudge isn't that pudgy. <laughs> Why did his parents name him Pudge? Maybe they didn't like him. <laughs> Is it Mama? Terrible. Pudge. <laughs> I think that Teddy could be the dad to Pudge and Stitches. I think that one is the dad to that panda. Whoa, to he's Chow. Scared. Yes. He's scared. There's another cute panda one with a stretched mouth, it seems. I don't know what happened, but his mouth is like, who? Uh, Megan is them. definitely on our list. And Maple. Meeple. And Olive. What? <laughs> I saw Mom's birthday twin. We do not speak <laughs> of he who shall not be named. Like Harry Potter. He, he who shall not be named. Vladimir. Him. Oh. <laughs> Him, the little panda. He's the Chester. other little kid. I yeah. thought I had tree branches. Uh -uh. Um, what happened to the tree branches? We're going to have to 
search for Cody Pudge Chester. Where's Cody? Murphy Olive. Uh, Poncho or Tammy? Tammy. Those will be villagers we will accept if we go villager hunting. And Tammy is up in the air because she's kind of snarky. Who's Tammy? That one. <laughs> We've had her before. Which is another reason she's up in the air. I know her. She's pretty cool. She's a bit snarky for me. I really, really, really want Pudge. Maple, Olive, and Cody, or Poncho. And then for the larger, the bear villagers, uh, what? what? I'm trying to think. Sorry. <laughs> I, think, I keep like, thinking of baby, but stop that. Boy. <laughs> Terrible. She's the mother honey. Baby. Oh, we also have Marty's amiibo. Honey. Who's Marty? That's a great name. Aww. He looks hmm. like a guinea pig yeah. morph with a bear. He's one of the Sanrio characters. The Hello yeah. Kitty collection. I'm really fond of Nate and his unibrow. He looks like a tree. He's got a Christmas sweater on. Chow is scary. We need Chow for what's his name? Chester? Yes. Oh, I have two fish. Chow rods. and Chester. For the bear villagers, I'm really fond of Kurt. Ursula, Tutu, Teddy, which we already have. Yay. Pinky, Nate, Paula, Klaus, Ike, Groucho, Beardo. I'm fond of all of them, pretty much. I'm not too fond of Vladimir. Grizzly looks kind of mad. Kurt looks like he could be mad. <laughs> I love how what, you forget that you have another birthday twin. No, I don't forget. I'm very happy to have another birthday twin. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sort of like how I have one... Can you hop across? Is no. it too far? Too far. I have one birthday twin that I'm annoyed of having, and then I have one that's cool. Which one do you not like? I don't want to have the peppy cow. What, what cow? I'm pretty sure it's Patty. Oh, Patty. I don't I think Patty's bigger. that bad, though. She's a peppy cow. She's cute. She dresses like an orange. Do you see me as a peppy cow? I don't I do think not, so. But it doesn't really reflect you. But at the same time, I understand your struggle, because I don't like Vladimir. Because I don't see you as some cranky bear. <laughs> I would trade you. I see you. you as a hippie. So. I would trade you. Her house rocks. Your other birthday twin makes sense. Yeah, really does. Look at her house. It has a little white picket fence with clouds, and then the flooring is just so cute. There's some good aspects. Let's see if there are any good aspects to save Vladimir. Yeah, I can see good aspects to her. Let's see what Vladimir's house looks like. What then it's the best oh, house my. ever. <laughs> yeah, Vladimir is cranky. Vladimir, I forgot his face. <laughs> <laughs> his face isn't that bad. Like I've seen worse. He's grumpy. Like I just saw it randomly. I mean, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> it's it's funny. <laughs> it's his house is trash. <laughs> it suits him. <gasps> How dare His house is trash. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like him. It, it's a construction mm. site. Single tier. Aw. There's <laughs> a lot of trash written on the walls and things. Trash, trash, trash. 
Oh, it doesn't just say trash. The walls. I thought it just well, not trash about. written on the walls, but paper and things on the walls. That's an older version, and it looks like you know fencing and whatnot. His house might look better now. Uh, I think this is it now. No. Oh, and mother. They I'm are kidding. bad quality, so that's not that house now. Well, that is. It looks like a rooftop, sort of. Yeah, like a construction site. That's pretty cool. Eh. <clears throat> Mother? Yes. So, at school, I have been learning about, like, the Egyptian, and this cat in Animal Crossing sort of looks like, I can't remember her name, but... Cleopatra? Yeah, Cleopatra. She looks like that. And I learned a very sad fact. So, whenever Egyptians die... If they want someone to accompany them, people kill their pets. Oh my. And mummify them to be with them in the afterlife. Oh also, sometimes my. their mothers or their persons they married. I'm it's glad we don't crazy. live in that time period. Me too. Yes, indeed. This spot you're fishing in is going to make another great spot for a house. Plucky is watching you. She's judging your every move. Oh, we got a tire. Yeah. We'll need that later. Me and Animal Crossing, I know what to do with this. Rolls it up, Plucky. Whee! I got a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. What are you gonna do with it? Caesar Pumpkin. What are you supposed to be doing right now? Getting the commandments. Is that what they told you? I think. I can't remember. You don't know? I said I can't remember. Oh my. You should probably go talk to him to see if there's something he wants you to do because we're about to wrap it up for the day, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> you want to keep playing longer? Yeah, sorta. This is actually fun. I know when you have tasks to do and things like that. Ask what you should do, yeah. If you're stuck, chances are good. Asking Tom Nook what you need to do is a good way to get unstuck. So you need to turn fish into him? I guess so. I found a creature. Splendid. I think he only accepts one of each. Keep collecting stuff for the nook. <clears throat> Get you a net, maybe. Some stuff like that. I need tree branches. And then we'll see about... Uh, maybe... Wrapping it up at like an hour and a half or so. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Find a stopping point. What if this cat was actually a part of history and Cleopatra, whenever she died, was buried with a cat that looked like this? Oh my. Are you a part of history? <laughs> oh look, an acorn. A random squirrel animal crossing character ball. looks at it, runs away with it. 
I gave a squirrel Animal Crossing character that acorn, would, would they it eat take it? it and hide it? Or eat it? Or maybe they'd be offended. Or maybe they'd go insane and run away and start dancing, hugging the acorn, and then randomly a bird snatches it away. Tear. Oh, terrible. Walks away, gets another acorn, dances again. Cycle. Slaps him on the head of the milk <laughs> dude. Anger. <laughs> Running away with the net. <laughs> Miss. I love y'all. Love you. Wonderful. Little other nuts. What do we call that emotion he's feeling, children? Triggered. Very triggered. <laughs> Very triggered. Make us butter. She has got the butterfly. Oh, no. oh look, a dragonfly. Will it breathe fire? Dude, that was really cool. <laughs> One mother? Yeah. Fun bug fact about dragonflies. How they clean themselves. Since their eyes are very large and almost takes up the whole space of their face, they actually clean their eyes with either their arms or a little tongue they have. Oh, It's kind of creepy. Kind of so creepy, kind of cute. It's so then it's they cute can actually to lick see. your eyes. Well, it's interesting. So then they can see where they go. They have to clean their eyes because they're like, it's like... Being on a motorcycle with no goggles for them, <laughs> you know? Poor little fellas. Do they get bug guts in their eyes? No idea. Like on a windshield? <laughs> Doubtful. They're probably not flying that fast. It's almost as disturbing as them licking their eyes. <laughs> what? Teddy blushes all the time like an anime character. Teddy's great. I'm very excited that we got him at the very beginning of our island. It's wonderful. Gives me hope for the other villagers. helping me with this. Y'all are terrific. You're welcome. Oh, Mother, your island also has many dragonflies and butterflies. It does. There you are, Teddy. Can you talk to Teddy? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you're very welcome. He's so sweet. Put the cap on. We need we need a variety. My hair looks awful. <laughs> That's the worst part about the beginning of the game. What? Not a lot of options for style. Mm. I used to wear a cap like that. Funny enough, I stopped wearing my cap because your dad had a cap like that. Really? Uh-huh. Why did you stop? Eh. Seems like his thing. Where are you again, Teddy? Question. Yes? Did Teddy wear pants? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Pretty sure he doesn't wear She's pants. She's trying to draw him, by the way. I don't think that no. any Animal Crossing characters wear pants. I don't think pants. they do. Like, the girls, it's just assumed that it's a skirt or dress on them, or just a shirt. And then the others are just, you know, 
There you are, Kitty. She's not. My wonderful husband is getting some stuff from the freezer at the moment. Bear with us. He's going to make some dinner so that Pico yeah. and Amelia and I can bear Continue. with us. Aw, punny. <laughs> Pico and Amelia and I can continue doing our setup because Pico is super excited about helping me with this. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Aw. That was... Oh, she said not now. She busy. Trying to catch the same butterfly? <laughs> She's like, uh-uh. I'm trying to catch the butterfly that she was trying to catch. That way you can give it to her? So then I can give it to the... Uh, that's terrible. She clapped me. <laughs> she was impressed. Thank you, yeah, I'm kind of mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Father. No problem at all. You're terrific. You want, you want steak fries or potato fries? I want steak fries. <laughs> Amelia? Uh. Pico? Oh, I'll just have steak fries. Steak fries or tops? Oh. What are steak fries? They're like thick french fries. I love those. <laughs> very good drawing. I like it. I like all of them. You're doing very well. Anka looks amazing. Is that how you say her name? Yes. Woo! I'm normally terrible at pronouncing the names. Oh, my legs Me hurt. in real life. Yeah. They were real and they had those pumpkin masks on. Just coming out of the house, see that? Just them going boo. I'd be cradling in the corner, all like screaming. Right. Them looking all like, I didn't think she I like your comics. This is good. Honestly, if Look we were her. real life, I would just run away when they say trick or treat. <laughs> That's crazy. Then I don't get their stupid tricks, and I don't have to give away my treats. Uh, I have candy for you to give to Because I basically don't ever have any candy. Aww. I always leave it at my house not knowing that I left it at my house. That's awful. And then they do their dumb pranks like, oh no, I put wallpaper in your pocket. <laughs> Plain! Woo. Oh yeah, real... Bad prank, guys. What are you on to right now? Looking for stuff to catch. Is that still what he wants you to do? I think so. Well, I need to use the restroom really fast. Okay. So be polite, ladies. We will. try to do that but it never works. I don't think you can catch the birds. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Be epic though. I caught a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to bird. a bird villager. <laughs> I shall put this in my house. You found my little oh. sister. Thank you. Your shoes are making weird squeak sounds. Impressive jumping. Come on. <laughs> I swear, if I don't catch you, I'm chasing you into a lake. Chasing after one of those dudes and then <laughs> there's 
a very fascinating bug over there that I can't get to. It looks like a type of cricket. Little cricket bug. Cricket bug. It looks all sorts of disturbing in the shade. So what have we gotten done details. while I was gone? I know they look amazing. Collecting all the cricket bugs. Little old cricket bug. <laughs> cricket bug. Is that all he'll take from you? Can you sell some now to Nooks? Um. I was thinking the one in the tent. But it, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> how folks are doing. They're always so happy. <laughs> it's nice to see. But I feel so bad because I just smacked him in the head by Aww. accident. I'm sure he's fine. I love the beautiful purple clouds out right now. They look amazing. I bet he'll buy things from you. That would be weird. It's like, oh yes, I am fine. This is a helmet. I don't see a helmet. All his head is actually dark brown. This is my helmet. Oh, weird. Has little cat ears. <gasps> is something wrong? You might be butt tired. So how was school today, ladies? Good. Yeah, it was good. Enjoyable. They didn't give me much schoolwork this time. I was so excited about work, or about getting out of work to come do this today that I was just ready to go. <laughs> All day long. Just whenever three more seconds left. Three, two, one. <laughs> Must go home. Gets in car. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Driving at the speed of light. I don't think that's possible. Just you driving that fast? First of all, you, you have see to Sonic. obey the speed limit. And secondly... No one can really go as fast as the speed of light. <laughs> Extremely true. to get a chair with some back support. <laughs> I like that she's crafting all of my tools for me because I really don't like doing that part. <laughs> I already had them already on another island because I didn't want to do this part. It's easier when you already know the DIYs and stuff. But I kind of thought that you might like this. <laughs> Hold the phone. The someone's calling. Are we going to get a museum already? Probably. Are you that fast? Yes. How many things did you catch for him? Don't know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Five. I still have more. Of course. 
Cruz. I saw a perfect spot on the beach for his. <laughs> Everything's going on the beach? Everything on the beach for right now. We're going to lay down pathways and things, and it will be much simpler if we do it this way. Can you tell me where? Um, right about there should work. Okay. I think that'll do. We're going to leave them in a tent for a little while. I, however, will be getting some bells from myself on another island to upgrade my house rather quickly because I rather enjoy decorating inside my house. <laughs> It makes me happy. So, yeah. <laughs> I really liked, uh, what was it called? Happy Home Design. It was one of my favorite games when my husband got it for me for a Christmas present. And after I completed it rather quickly, I let Pico play it, and she completed it rather quickly, too. <laughs> Super fun. I can't give them any more Oh. Pictures. I think we should time travel then. Okay. Let me press pause. And we will be right back with you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We time traveled a day so that we can get Blathers here and Pico can help with getting him set up and happy on the beach. <laughs> and craft me some more tools. I love how they're outside and stuff and you get to see them in nature. It's weird and unique. Hello! You don't have to scream. I hope our microphone is okay. If it's not and it's too loud or too low, please leave me a message in the comments. Also, while you're at it, it's free to like and subscribe. So people have to pay to like and subscribe to other people? No, but I've uh, been talking to a few people that I've met, and they thought it cost money to subscribe to a YouTube channel. But it's actually free, everyone. The join function is where you pay. But we don't have that yet. <laughs> What's the join function? Where you can become a member of someone's channel, and you get updates and things before anyone else. And special stickers and things you can use, but people have to pay for it. But we don't have that. <laughs> but it would help us out if you like and subscribe, because then I would actually know who's watching videos, and if anyone's actually looking or listening. Would be interesting. We're very happy for all of our subscribers, by the way. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. We will have to find some kind of special fun thing for our subscribers. Sister? Yes? Could you please go down to the beach again? Was he wearing a different thing or something? What? It was just him, him. Normal. To the left, please. All right. For Amelia. It's just... Would you Seagull please, dude. please humor her? I <laughs> think okay. we have... So you know how they have their Care Bear Cousins? He's a Care Bear Cousin. He could be a Care Bear Cousin. Pico's gonna be a Care Bear Cousin. Yay! Yay! Do you like that better than being the villain on the island? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Normally the villains in those kind of shows wear black. I know it's not the same in real life. If I were to create my own show or something, I would have the villain wear colorful clothes. 
because everybody makes them wear black and I want something different. Hey sister, mine will be a little bit different. He is black, but you know, he's doesn't really wear clothes. He's like an animal, like an animal person. I thought that he was a wispy thing. No you know. heart and uh, shrieky. Who's shrieky? The villains and uh, care a lot. Whoa! Wait, I didn't know. And then an ugly little troll dude. <laughs> Beastly. It's spooky. We need to watch some Care Bears to get inspiration for our island. And I have not decided yet, but I'm contemplating trying my hand at drawing so that they can be my designs for the Care Bears on their shirts, their bellies. But I'm horrible at drawing. But they seem relatively simple. So, you know, if I did that, I could uh, customize this shirt to be the color of the bear that I want to give it to. So that it looks like it's just a Care Bear with the symbol on. Does that make sense? Isn't there like a white patch around the symbol? Yes. And that's kind of what I want to do. If I can. The new Care Bears is so adorable. I don't know if I've seen the new one. We showed you. Oh yes. I remember. When dinner's ready, we're going to turn this off. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Pico's really enjoying this. That's wonderful. We have a museum now. This is my favorite part Aww. of the game. What if I said we weren't going to upgrade the museum? What? Her eyes got all wide, y'all. This is why we could never just have a tent. <laughs> Plus... She knows that what is his name is coming. I don't remember, seriously. Brewster, thank you. <laughs> and Brewster used to be something that she and Amelia enjoyed. Did you enjoy it as well? Going to the coffee shop? Talking? Yeah. You can have a job, is that correct? Yes. Oh. And they tell you the usual, please. And then you're like, uh, I don't know you. <laughs> And you make coffee for the residents. Yeah, and then they get all mad because you get their order wrong because you don't know them. <laughs> Interesting. Some of them that are... That sounds fun. Nice enough to tell you what they want. Aw. And then you try to remember for next time? Is that how it goes? Yeah, but I'd need to write that down. No kidding. <laughs> We're going to definitely need a book for that. Speaking of writing things down, in order to get our plots ready for our three villager homes, I have paper ready for each home because they give you at least a list, excuse me, I can't talk, I'm very tired, of items to collect for the indoor and outdoor of their homes. And, uh... We're going to, excuse me, I lost my train of thought. We are going to villager hunt and do one plot at a time so that we can make sure we get the person we want in there because we're going to villager hunt for bears. But I have Nook Mile tickets and bells on another island so that we can do this and hopefully find people, well, not people, but bears <laughs> that we want or cubs. And both of my daughters really like the villager hunting portion. Yay! Would you like to do the controllers for a while when we villager hunt? Go to different islands? Or do you just like to sit and watch? 
That's cool. <laughs> I have bugs. And Pico really enjoys being in, contr in control of the controls. <laughs> so that works out nicely. My terrific husband is still making us dinner over there. He's so magnificent. He's so helpful. <laughs> Have a wonderful, sweet family. Y'all are terrific. In case you didn't know. <laughs> He's assuming I'm a morning person. Funny. That is funny. If you only knew, Blathers. If you only knew. Oh my. Hey, Pico. Hmm? May we switch chairs, please? Yeah, sure. Thank Can you, you help me sit down in this chair? Oh, be careful. Thank you so much. Because I will lean back. <laughs> Thank you. Cross my legs on this chair. Like the way that I like to sit. As the Romans say. I just have to keep my feet sort of hovering there so then I don't have to touch the floor. chair soon is because this one broke. Do I get to sit on that Yes, one? but be careful. Okay. You're good. But that one will be going to the trash. Now I can't see the oh, excuse me. screen. You can see almost all of the screen. The I microphone's was... in the way of the facts. Well, let me pull it on over here. Is that better, madam? Yes. My screen in the way still or no? No. Very wonderful, Amelia. It's ominous. I like it. Great job. Poor thing, he's so scared. Mm. Because dragonflies are apparently disturbing. <laughs> he doesn't like insects, and Pico knows this, and she takes great delight in bringing this owl insects. Someone who's online is called Claire Bear. I know. I have quite a few insects. Please, please tell me about the creatures that you do not like. It's funny to see them all scared and also it gets their creepy little bug feet out of my pockets. The creepy little bug feet. Yes. Oh heavens. Their feet are the scariest. Because uh, they touch you the most. I like bugs and insects. I think they're terrific. We were out on a little nature type thing that we do occasionally. We had stale bread and cereal. So we took it to this pond and fed our duck friends. I'm not quite sure why there were marshmallows in the bag. I'm not really sure at all. But since they were there, we broke apart a few and placed them around this rock that was just completely covered in ants. Like, coated in ants. The rock looked alive. <laughs> so I think we just helped those ants have a wonderful winter. Because we left like a half a bag of marshmallows around that area. And we fed all those ducks. We discovered another bag of bread behind the door that we can feed the ducks, by the way. 
We may do that after, you know, we go take care of some business tomorrow. It's your shop day. <laughs> um, Mother, I don't know if I said this to you or Dad, but it would be good for all you Animal Crossing fans and Bug fans because another thing about dragonflies, they lay their eggs in the water and That's they don't have their wings at first, so they grow them whenever they're close to being a baby, but close to being an adult. Interesting. And the mothers like to swim, like hover around it to make sure their babies are safe from fish. Very cool. I like that you like learning those fun little facts. Animals and bugs are very interesting. Now I need to catch more stuff to get Nook Miles. So many tasks. So many tasks. And it's almost dinner time. Oh no. I know. We may or may not do another video after dinner to get a little bit more done, but we will see, okay? Smile. But when that timer goes off, we're going to eat dinner because I have been up, everyone, since 4.40, and I would like some food and some relaxation time. She tells us this like every day whenever we complain about waking up at an early time. <laughs> I get up earlier than you. <laughs> Even on my days off, I can't sleep in that much. But it's TGIF day. In our family, it's TGIM. Yes. Well, only for me because the kids aren't thrilled that it's Monday, but it's my day fine. off tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm happy this week because I got lots of schoolwork done because they yeah. only gave me, like, 18 things, and that's, like, really good. High five. So now I only have seven things, and I could probably get that done, like, probably about two each day. Probably Friday would be the day I don't have any. Very I cool. Could, I better fly, but I already caught that one. I hope that your work goes by smoothly all week and that y'all get it done to where you'll have relaxation time. That's wonderful. A little bit of downtime. <laughs> Having trouble finding new bugs. That is a dilemma. I think I've already caught this one before too, but I'm just catching it anyway, I guess. Yeah, I already caught that one. There goes your handy dandy dent. <laughs> I remember because it's the really creepy one that looks like a crinkly raisin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it, all of our nook miles. Island togetherness. Yahoo! Catching creepy crawlies. Get you nook miles. What is this one for? DIYs. For doing DIYs? I think so. For breaking your tools. Rascally clown. <laughs> Just beating up your tools. I for, get nook miles. For picking weeds, you get nook miles. It's like a beautiful task of doing stuff you need to do. Mm -hmm. Selling unwanted stuff. And that's it. That's pretty cool. So those are the things you collect and do to get a few nook miles. That might even get you a nook mile. What? Releasing a critter. Something Maybe. I like to do is look at Animal nope. Crossing characters that are already in the game and then try to think of other ones like sharks, bats, really cool idea. Flies, butterflies. So I haven't decided yet if I want to do this as a no terraforming island or if I want to do terraforming. Do y'all know what the no terraforming island is? Where you don't 
mess with the water or the land? Yes. Oh. I'm really contemplating it because I do like the way that this map was set up. The only thing we would do would be add bridges and inclines. What do y'all think? Seems cool. We have to time travel. Just have to. But I think I could do a lot with this layout. I really kind of like it. New favorite character, Teddy. I know, he's Teddy. so sweet. Aww, and look at be a teddy bear. that in the distance. I mean, that's a large piece of land that we can work with to kind of decorate around. Might even be great for villager home placement on that side. That's why I want them all on the beach. I don't want to spend a lot of money moving them. So I place them on the beach so I only have to move them one time. We're going to make bridges and inclines to get us over on that side of the island. And I've placed them before on the side or the piece that we're on. And then that opens up and I'm like, okay, but everything looks so empty over here. And then you got to spend so much money to relocate people. And that's just not fair. <laughs> some new fish. Very cool. And I... Uh-oh. What? Is that where we placed our resident services? Where? Where it is? We didn't place it there. It just gets put there no matter what. They placed it? Yeah. I don't think you can ever move that. Yeah. We don't get a say in where it goes. No right. takes care of that. So when we were looking at our map, resident services was placed on that map. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. How far away from the airport is it? Pretty far? I think mm -hmm. so. Oh. Let's find our airport. Because now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's hard to decorate and entrance way and make it look nice when you're too close to the airport and especially if we do go with no terraforming that's going to make things real tricky <laughs> I'm going to fall asleep <laughs> whenever it's school days first day of school wake up at 7 or Today, wake up late, run to the school, <laughs> tech, 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 go to meetings afterwards, do fun stuff with your parents, Aww. have dinner, fall asleep. Next day, easy. Easy, just do some schoolwork, have some fun, and then go to sleep again because tired days. <laughs> Maybe it won't be so tiresome, and maybe we'll get to do something fun tomorrow. Mm. Never know. We'll see what the day brings. I hope so. I hope all of our viewers out there and subscribers have a beautiful day as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our tutorial islands because Pico and I are going to continue to find things to teach you. Amelia may jump on this bandwagon as well because she knows a lot about the villagers. Hint, hint. Hmm. Now I need to go catch more fish. More fish. More bugs. I can't find any more More bugs. critters. Kind of sad because I like to learn about them. I kind of like the museum on the beach. It's interesting looking. It's different. Keep on it tells me all sorts there. of disturbing okay. Okay. stuff whoa, 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 about... Whoa. That's crazy close. 
I didn't know that. That's weird. Can you see? Show the map. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Eh. It's kind of off to the side a little bit, and it's not that horrible. I think I can do something with it. I really like our layout. The setup is nice. Whatever I get to see. Pico's really kind of quick at <laughs> sharing our map. Oh, yeah. Did you know today's Thanksgiving in Canada? I did not. Interesting. Oh, look how tiny that little rock area is. I don't think I've ever seen one that small. That, f that fish moves strangely. Hmm. Snake characters. Eel. Eel characters. <laughs> As she was mentioning snake characters, how wonderful is that? Look, I don't think I've seen, you know, like, the tiny, tiny rock area, you know? Like, we had huge rock area on Golden Girls, remember? Mm -hmm. Like, giant. I'm hopeful that the ones on the other side over there are smaller, too. That would be awesome. Several smaller ones instead of big ones. That was kind of creepy. The butterfly went through you. Can we use the airport right now to get visitors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you for coming, my dear. Pico, you know what that means. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Hmm. Have a wonderful Animal Crossing day. Well, I think Pico wants to catch this last fish. But yes. Are you good? You got no miles. Oh my. <laughs> we have, oh wow, a lot of nook miles so far. Great job, Pico. We've had a lot of fun with all of you today. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya.